What's up everyone? Welcome back into another video and today we got the Project Infinity X um not that X. We got the Infinity X 2.5 in the house which is based on Android 15 and if you don't know about this ROM then let me tell you that this is a proper banger. So if you like overloaded features and customizations then this video is for you so make sure to make a sub right now because only 4% of the people watching my videos are subbed. So make a sub right now and let's get the video started. I know you haven't subbed yet. Anyway, starting with the UI, so when you move into the settings, I just want to say wow. You get this landscape at the top of the settings which changes multiple times. You open the settings and when you move down and open the about phone section and check your Android version, so another tab open which looks really great. I mean, the UI UX team has done a great job here and you can also check the processor and other hardware details of your phone right here. And if you haven't noticed yet, so you can see my name on the maintainer section because I built this version of the room for Poco X4 Pro. And by the way, I'm not maintaining this room officially because it's already got an official maintainer. Anyways, we'll talk about it later in this video. So yes, this room comes with the February 2025 security patch and I've shipped the Positron kernel with kernel SU support. So yes, that's for the UI infos. Now for the launcher, so Infinity X launcher is here and for the features, so like other launcher 3 mods, mostly get the same features like changing the app icon packs, icon and font size for the icon customizations and for the home screen, so yes, wallpaper zooming, scrolling and even some gland features are here and while we are discussing it, so the glance is themed as per the Oxygen OS style which gives it a good attention to detail and looks great on the home screen and in fact you also get this feature called the extended style which when applied changes the style of your home screen glance and it looks nice. Anyways you also get some search bar features like controlling the opacity from here and some monet features with corner radius control. Now for the app drawer features so force themed icons is here along with the typical launcher 3 features. And for the recent menu so you can check your memory info and other features like taking screenshots using google lens and while we are talking about it so yes circle to search works absolutely fine and by the way you can also hide your apps and games from this option so yes that's it for the launcher features. Now if I talk about the pre-installed app so firstly I have added the Leica 4.5 camera which really takes great pics as compared to the MIUI cam and you can also record your videos up to 1080p 60fps and other than that. I have also included the Xiaomi Dolby Atmos so again I'm gonna say that if you're a music lover you must try this seriously it's gonna blow your mind and it doesn't even finishes here. You also get the Viper for Android if you don't know this is one of the best and customizable audio mods if you love music like when I open it as you can see you get multiple features like customizing the equalizer, improving the surround sound from here and other features like bass and clarity improvement. By the way, I was also thinking of making a dedicated video on it like how you can use it and install it in those rooms which don't have it. So if you want a video ASAP, make a sub right now and turn on the notifications to stay updated as soon as I publish it. Anyways, as this is the GApps build so you get some basic Google Apps pre-installed but for the dialer so you get the AOSP dialer so yes, call recording works fine without any announcement. So yes, that's it for the pre-installed apps. I know you guys have been waiting for this part. So for the features and customizations, so firstly when you open settings, you get this beautiful UI and now when you click on this bottle kind of logo, the customization tab itself looks amazing. So starting from the theming features, so you get customization regarding monet colors like controlling the luminance and chroma and other than that, when you move into the wallpaper section, it just opens the wallpaper and style section. Now for the theme pack, so you get an option to blur your wallpapers like when I turn it on and check my home screen, the wallpaper gets blurred. And moving down you get multiple boot animation styles including the Google Pixel but I hope they add an option for custom boot animations in the future. Anyways, you also get various font styles, icon packs like currently I'm using the default icon pack. And now when I select the great icon pack, all the system icon gets themed in it and moving back you get various icon shapes for your apps, multiple signal icons and Wi-Fi icon packs. And you also get the volume panel styles like currently I'm using the gradient style which looks insane and now if I select the real MIUI style, it gets changed. Also you get some data icon packs and various navbar styles. Now for the most interesting part which is the lock screen features so firstly you get multiple lock screen clock styles like currently I'm using this one and now if I select this stylish style 
Firstly, it shows me the preview of the clock and now when I'll check my lock screen, it gets supplied. And yes, you get bunch of other lock screen styles including the MIUI, Oxygen OS, Color OS, iOS. And by the way, when you use the iOS clock, you get this iOS clock components which displays the battery, volume and memory usage of your phone. Moving down, you also get the depth wallpapers option and let me show you how it works. So you just need to add the wallpapers with background remove like this one and when I apply it and check my lock screen, it gets applied. And it looks really fine on the clock. In fact, you can also customize the opacity of your depth walls from here. By the way, if you don't know how to extract the background from your walls, it's really simple. So firstly, you need to apply the wallpaper of which the background is to be removed. So for my case, I will apply this wallpaper and once it's done, you just need to check the website called the photo room. I'll post the link in the description and then you just need to upload the wallpaper and bam, it will give you the wallpaper without the background and you just need to save it and apply it and there you go. Now you also get features like media cover art which displays the cover art of your songs on lock screen while playing them and yes, Pulse is also there to display the audio visualizers on your ambient display, lock screen and navbar while playing music and there are more features still remaining to cover. So if you are enjoying this video, make a sub right now, it means a lot to me. Now for the status bar features, so firstly you can customize the background chip of your clock from here and you get multiple background chips. Other than that, you also get various battery styles like if I select this style and check my status bar, the battery icon gets changed and other than that, you also get a lot of charging icons and some theming features for the battery icon. Now moving back, you also get some other features like the network traffic indicator and status pending. Now for the QS panel, so it's my second favorite on this list. So firstly, you get transparency control for your QS panel and moving down, you can also set the QS header clock, which is something new. Like currently I'm using the oxygen OS style and on selecting the analog clock, it gets changed and that looks really insane. Other than that, you also get header customizations like when you browse installed images from here, you get multiple pre-included header images under the various sections and uh, you know, <laughs> you can also select your local image from this option. Down, You also get some other features like customizing the QS style UI like if I select the square tile and check my QS panel, it gets changed and apart from this, you also get various QS themes like currently I'm using the new morph theme and if I select the outline style, it gets changed. And yes, you also get customizations for the tiles animations. Now for the AOD customizations, so firstly you get edge light for your notifications and other than that, you also get features like ambient text that displays a specific text on your ambient display and finally, you get the ambient image and last time I saw this on any room, it was Alpha Roid A13 and it also works fine without any problem. Now there are also some customizations regarding button and power menu but I'll rather skip it cause you don't get something new. So yes, I'm gonna skip it. Now for the notifications, so firstly island notification is there and other than that you also get some call vibration features. Anyways, you also get the sidebar feature under the navigation menu which is same as the floating window you get in MIUI and HyperOS and it works absolutely fine without any problem. Finally, for the miscellaneous features, so you get multiple spoofing options regarding Google Apps, higher pace in games and even the play integrity spoof and by the way, while we are talking about it, so device integrity passes by default on testing the integrity which is enough to use banking applications. And yes, you also get the Google Photos unlimited storage spoof that works absolutely fine. In fact, you also get some other features like ignore window secure flags and smart pixels. Now, if I talk about the other features you get in the settings, so firstly, you get app locks under the app section and other than that, you can also clone your apps from here. Talking about the display features, so you get features like per app refresh rate and display saturation controls. So yes, that's all for the features and customizations. Now, if I talk about the performance, so this room actually performs really well, not gonna lie. Firstly, for the N22, so I got a score of about 419k which is decent considering the level of customizations. I was also really really surprised to see that there was no CPU throttle with a max chip score of 192k. So on benchmark it scores really well but what about the gaming performance? If I talk about the gaming performance, so firstly you get 120fps unlocked in BGMI for smooth graphics but for better consistency I always play on 60fps. 
So for my gaming test, so I played some TDM matches and surprisingly I got about 55 to 57 FPS consistently even on longer sessions. And by the way, the battery consumption during the matches was also respectable. Now for the battery backup, so considering this as an heavy roam, you can expect about 7 plus hours on heavy usage, which is a good number considering the heaviness of this roam. Now if I talk about the conclusion, so if you are a die-hard customization lover and love to explore new features, then this roam is totally for you. And if you care about music quality, so yes, Dolby and Viper is also there. And by the way, this is an unofficial build from my side, but if you want me to maintain this room, then comment down, I'll be pushing OT updates in future even though the build will remain official. But to be honest, unofficial and official doesn't make any difference other than the tag. So yes, I have posted all the links in the description, so make sure to check it out. And anyways, if you like this video, make a sub right now for more interesting videos like this. And yes, it's time to say goodbye.